Ever wondered where exactly users looking on your site? Big corporations study attention with expensive equipment, making their projects significantly more effective than smaller projects. But what if everyone could afford this? In fact, for many years now, the Figma plugin from Intention Insight has allowed freelancers and businesses to conduct such researches using AI. However, if you haven't explored their web platform yet, you're in for many revelations. Hey everyone, it's Nick here. Today we're putting the attention inside to the test in real project condition to see just how accurate the data we got really is. Stick around until the end, because I have a surprise for each of you. Now let's dive in and get to work. For the test, I've prepared the design of pricing cards, which are often found in the web products. In such cards, the most important element is the CTA button, as conversion depends on it. Let's check what percentage of attention the CTA currently receives. Select the frame, find the Attention Insight plugin in Figma, and in my case it will be the landing type of analysis since I want to use those cards on landing page. This process may take some time, and in the meanwhile I would like to mention that you will need to register before starting the work, however it's a very simple process. Done. And to be honest, I'm not satisfied with the result, as our CTAs do not attract any attention at all. Before we move on, let's quickly review the plugin's capabilities. You can use different display modes here attention, focus, and contrast, which can be added to your layout using this button. You can also highlight other areas just like the CTA buttons and check the percentage of attention they receive. This report includes overall assignment of your design, and you can download full version of it using this button. For now, I want to move to the platform, which can be done by clicking the More Inside button. So we are on the platform, and I came here for recommendations from the AI. The attention zones on the CTAs can be analyzed in this section. Additionally, in the second tab you can get general recommendations for the layout. All reports can be copied, which I will do for future layout adjustments. Let's head back to Figma with the completed report from Attention Insight and begin editing our layout. The primary objective of the pricing plan is the CTAs, which unfortunately are currently receiving 0% attention from users in this design. The first thing AI notice is that the main heading is receiving high attention. This means that lower attention on pricing plan and CTA buttons may impact conversion goals. I suggest significantly reduce the amount of text. Now this looks simpler. However, the AI further recommends that we work on the placement of the button, so let's confidently move it higher in the hierarchy. You may have noticed that in various interfaces the button is most often placed either in the bottom, like in our design, or in the upper half of the card. Well, the test result will show how justified this decision is. The next step suggests that we slightly change the text. Interestingly, the AI analyzes not only overall composition, but also how the user perceives the text. So let's change the text and keep going. This comment suggests adding some animations and graphics, but since we are testing the static image, I will focus on optimizing the current design. And in this step, I would prefer to add a graphic element in the form of an emoji. The next advice to increase the contrast between the background and button is quite obvious, but I guess the contrast here is already high. And here, the AI from Attention Insight hit me right in the heart. I don't know how I could fail it with the contrast between the description text color and the background, but it somehow happened. Let's boldly increase the brightness. And that's about all I've noted for myself from the test report. However, my inner perfectionist is eager to add a few more changes. I would confidently reduce the size of the price, which might lead to the more attention being drawn to the CTA buttons by users. Additionally, since we moved the button higher, I've been thinking about visually separating the content. And as a final touch, I would slightly improve the headings. I've submitted our updated layout to testing, and you can congratulate me. We managed to drastically change the situation. The first thing that stands out is that our CTA buttons now attract attention. Let's create a comparative test with the previous layout. And now we can see that we achieved a significant increase in attention for CTA buttons by simply following Attention Insight recommendations. Now let's talk about the accuracy. The AI model from Attention Insight is trained on data collected from real users, which make it extremely accurate. The study conducted by Massachusetts Institute of Technology showed that the accuracy of Attention Insight algorithm ranges from 90 to 96 percent compared to real eye tracking tests. Just imagine that somewhere in a huge corporation, hundreds of people are conducting research on expensive equipment, while we during our test achieved 96 percent identical results for our project in just a couple of minutes. And I 
I think it will surprise no one that the special types of research are supported for software, e-commerce and marketing. But what amazed me the most it was this. You may have seen this effect at the very beginning of the video. And if you thought it was analyzing of the viewer's attention for the video, you were right. As someone who created a lot of videos commercially and for my personal blog, I can say that I'm really satisfied with this capability. After ensuring the quality and accuracy of attention on site, my game has changed and I want each of you to have maximum access to this technology. That's why the team at Attention Insight and I have repaid an exclusive gift for each of you. With the promo code NICK20, you will receive the 20% discount on any subscription plan. That's all for today. Stay creative, keep learning, and I'll see you in the next video.